Hello everyone. After introduction and terminology of screw threads, let's see various types of profiles or various forms of screw threads. Standard profile or form of screw threads. The two main forms of screw threads are square thread and triangular or V thread. First, square thread. When the thread has a square cross section, it is called as square thread. In case of square threads, flanks are vertical and parallel to each other. It offers less friction resistance. Types of square thread, square thread and knuckle thread. First, square thread. It is used in mechanism of machine tools, valves, spindles, vice screws, etc. A square thread is specified by nominal diameter and pitch. For example, square thread of nominal diameter 40 mm and pitch 4 mm is designated as SQ40 cross 4. Here, SQ means square thread, 40 means 40 is the nominal diameter in mm and 4 is the pitch. So square thread SQ followed by nominal diameter in mm followed by pitch again in millimeter. Next, knuckle thread. Knuckle thread is a modified form of square thread. Knuckle thread is a special purpose thread. It is used in railway carriage coupling screw and on the neck of glass bottles. Next, triangular or V thread. When the thread has a triangular or V cross section, it is called as V thread. All types of V threads have inclined flanks making an angle between them. It is used to tighten two parts together as in bolt and nut, stud and nuts, screws, etc. Types of V thread, BSW thread and metric thread. BSW means British Standard Whitworth. It has been adopted as a standard form in the United Kingdom. So the name is BSW, B for British, S for Standard, W for Whitworth or Whiteworth. Next, metric thread. Metric or unified or isometric thread. This type of thread is also recommended by BIS and ISO. BIS stands for Bureau of Indian Standards. ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. The basic designation consists of the letter M followed by the nominal size. Nominal size means major dia in mm and followed by the pitch in mm. So M20 cross 1.5 means the major diameter of the metric thread is 20 mm and the pitch is 1.5 mm. In metric thread, the external and internal thread vary in shape. So in total, we have five types of thread in our syllabus. Square thread, knuckle thread, BSW thread, metric external and metric internal. Now let's see how to draw standard profile of square threads. As you can see, it's a square threaded board, cross sectional area of thread or threaded portion is a square, square, so it's a square thread. Now, we know that distance between two consecutive threads, distance between two consecutive thread is known as pitch. So this is pitch from first point to the corresponding point or first point to the second point. This is pitch. And we know that it's a square thread. Square thread means its cross-sectional area, threaded portion or cross-sectional area is a square. So this height is P or pitch. This is half of pitch. And from this point to this point, height or depth, depth of thread or depth of threaded portion is also equals to half of pitch. So in case of square threads, you can say that this distance or height 
on that is half of h and this is also equals to half of h now the standard profile or profile or form means we are required to show or construct this part this threaded part so we are going to focus on the cross sectional area of the given thread as answer of this question we are required to draw this part this part means we have to show these square threads here and depth and length or distance between two threads is equals to half of pitch or 0.5 of p now let's move to the problem draw to scale 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 means full size scale the standard profile of square thread taking a large page as 60 mm gives standard dimensions so for this problem given pitch is 60 mm next is we have to calculate half of pitch on five of pitch half of 60 is 30 mm now we are required to draw this part we are required to project this part long horizontal plane so first of all draw limits of crest and limits of roots parallel to your base reference or parallel to your bottom base edge of sheet or parallel to your margin so please draw two lines parallel to each other 0.5 p or half p or 30 mm apart TMM apart. Okay. Now you have the locus, locus of crest, locus of crest, and locus of roots. Along these two lines, please mark limits of 30, 30 or half of pitch vertically. So, from first point, this is my limit 30, again 30, 30. So, from previous point, 30. These are limits of threads. Now mark all end points of your thread. These are your end points. Next step. Draw lines showing these points horizontally and vertically. So from every point, draw vertical line, touching corresponding point on the second line, like this. Now, this is my crest. This will be the root. So. Rest. and root join upper limits and lower limits showing rest and roots of square thread. These are crest points or crests and these are roots. Now we are not required to show all parts of this board. So using short brick line 
finish it. So this is your square thread. Next, you are required to hatch this cross sectional area showing square thread. So please draw hatching lines 1.5 or 2 or 3 and above apart parallel to each other at an angle of 45 from the first reference. First reference means from your base reference or at an angle of 45 from this line. parallel to each other maintaining constant distance and that constant gap or distance is 1.5 or 2 mm or 3 mm So this is the profile, profile of square thread. Next, for dimensioning, extend any two walls of your thread. You are required to show this height, height of thread. This is also equals to half of pitch. Half of pitch. Next, please draw a dimensioning table. So dimensioning table. which is 60 mm half of pitch 30 mm and angle of thread is 90 mm this is thread angle or angle of thread equals to 90 mm last naming
This is what you are required to draw. Please draw two lines, 0.5p apart, 0.5p or half of pitch. Then mark limits of 0.5p or half of pitch. Draw vertical lines like this, touching crest, two root lines, and then draw squares of size 0.5p, 0.5 up, 0.5 forward, 0.5 down, 0.5 forward, and so on. Then, using short break line, draw limits of your profile, show height, pitch, and half of pitch, and then please hit this profile. After hitching, draw dimensioning table, show pitch, half of pitch, and angle of thread, and then naming profile of square thread. I'll request you to please draw this problem on your sheet. And if you have any doubt regarding this thread profile, please write your comments on the comment section. Thank you.